Hello everyone. Tonight I am going to be playing my time at Portia. The makers of this game uh, kindly reached out to me and gave me a copy of the game and asked if I would be willing to play it for you. Um, they recently left EA and are trying to get the word out about this game, so I was definitely happy to help. I don't know a whole lot about this game, but I do know it's somewhat of a Stardew Valley, Minecraft, Rune Factory type of game. So, why don't we start and find out what it's all about? Stay new. Open the options menu to view the controls layout. It's really pretty artwork. I really like that a lot. Oh, okay. So here is where you can create your character. Um, female. So you can do hair, face type, upper face, lower face, and decoration. Let's look at the hair options first. Um, I currently have very long hair, <laughs> so I guess we can make sure that is long hair. <laughs> Let's see what other options there are. That's very long, maybe too long for Hmm. Let's look at the other ones actually. Let's get a pretty hair. just say there. <laughs> and now for the face. I have very light skin. Um, okay, so that's just giving you the different options for the spectrum and different actual faces. all these different ones. Hmm, which one do you think looks like me? Not sure. Maybe... Maybe this one? Let's try that one. And upper face. Oh, you can really decide all of the difference. You know, eye shapes and eyebrows and brows and whatnot. I don't think I'm going to bother with that. However, I think I am going to change the eye color. Just trying to look at all the different options that we could do. 
How about that? Sure. <laughs> now lower face. Oh, I see. It's adjusting the different things. I think this looks fine. Now let's look at this decoration. Oh, I see. This looks almost like I think we're good with just, it's just a normal look like that. Okay, um, I guess we can type in our name and then go ahead and confirm. Oh, let's see, choose your birthday. Um... So these look like the different holidays. My birthday is in October, technically. My birthday is October 9th. So I guess I'm just gonna choose that day. <laughs> and then confirm. Hmm. When you run out of wood, you can use your work table to turn hardwood into regular. Good to know, definitely. Mm -hmm. Looks like we're on a boat. Going up on Portia. Oh, that looks beautiful. What are we gonna do there? Moon dive. And that's so pretty. We can move here once in a while. Always seeking that adventure. Good to be young. Good luck to you. Thanks. My time at Portia. Oh, look at all those cool, like, ruins in the back. Well, I like that a lot. Serenity. Actually, how do you do? Good to see you again. Hope you had a pleasant journey from uh, Barnard Rock, right? It's quite far. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm here to show you to your workshop. So if you find peace following me, it's pretty close. I wonder what it's like. I, get, I didn't get to know my pa too well. Oh, so I guess that was me talking, so I guess it was my father's workshop. But no one's been working there since your pa left Portia so many years ago. He was a good friend. Yeah. Okay. left there it says dash is to walk around okay scroll through that I'm just uh, looking through all these different okay so shift you go extra oh we have a stamina meter okay here we are your work What do you think? Looks on me. This is a letter from your father. He had me to present it to you. You see this house? Oh, okay. Here's the letter. Serenity. When you read this letter, I will already be on the other side of the world. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry that I'm not the father you wanted me to be. Oh, jeez. <laughs> this was all so sudden, so I didn't have much time to tell you or figure out how to take care of you. Then I thought about this workshop. It might not look like much now, but it will brace you for the wind and cover you from the rain. 
I've left my workshop handbook that details how to create, how I created things in my workshop. The rest is up to you. Do your best and live a wonderful life. You will always be my pride and joy. Not a very good father. <laughs> Here's the workshop handbook of your boss. Take your time and come to Porsche Commerce Guild tomorrow. It's located around Beach Plaza. You can't miss it. As much as I'd like to give you a builder license right away, you'll need to prove your worth through a couple of tests. Got it. Tomorrow. Anyway, I'll leave you be. Get some rest. Bye, Presley. Thanks for your help. Okay, looks like we've got an achievement. And we're now on day two, month one, year one. The light is sleeping. <laughs> Let's wake up. This house is so worn, I need to fix it or I won't get a good night's sleep. Move to the Commerce Guild. Yeah, jump. Fix this gap. Use 10 wood to fix the gaps. Oh, okay. I see. So, in order to fix them, we need... We need wood. We need to get us some wood, for sure. <laughs> so, let's leave. And see where we can go now. Okay. Up on the top, it says the glowing objects are most likely to be collectible resources. Press escape to see help. The mission target is marked with an M star on the world map. And then auto run. It looks like we've got some mail right there too. Um, let's see. If we click M for the map. Okay, so this is where I am right here. We can zoom in and out. And we needed to go to that one guild, right? I think so. This is a really big place. Look at all this. We've got a lot left to explore. Yeah, go to the Commerce Guild. Okay. Meet him. Okay. So I'm guessing it's some way that way, right? Yeah. Looks like it. Let's check this mailbox. Let's see, how do we do that? Let's see, no more resources. E to check. From Porsche Times. Hello, new subscriber. This is the Porsche Times. We are sponsored by the city government and the local Commerce Guild branch to bring you the latest news in our city for free. We are a monthly publication, so papers will be sent out on the first day of each month. If you have any questions or concerns, please do not hesitate to visit our office on Main Street. Very cool. Oh, these look kind of glowy. Yeah, looks like we can gather them too. Just gonna do that really quick. <laughs> Before we go to the guild. Oh, there's more glowy stuff up here too. Very cool. Oh, wait. Why am I holding it up all weird? <laughs> oh, that's fine. Um. Out, I guess some resources that we can take with us. Okay, let's go to that one building. Oh, there's some people out here. Wonder, can we talk to him? Okay, this looks like Lee, uh, Nora. Oh, let's talk to them. Oh, and you are? You must be the new builder the mayor told me about. I'm Minister Lee of the church. 
It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, church of light, huh? Oh, what's this? Force wars and pillaging our planet. We must live in peace. Hmm. In chat. Give him a gift. Well, I, I guess we'll just leave for now. Oh, sorry, Nora. <laughs> oh, hi there. You new year? I'm Nora. I'm a missionary at the Church of Light. It's nice to meet you. Kind of like this little menu that pops up about, you know, to bring my gifts and stuff like that. That's kind of nice. Mm. Got Mars here. Grasmus. Carol's husband. Who's Carol? I don't know. He doesn't say anything anyway. What about you? Are you new here? I'm Russo. Hello. Whoa, who are you? Hi, oh, you must be the person the mayor was talking about. Kind of simple, but I hope we can be friends. He looks so cool. <laughs> I don't really have anything I can spar with him, though. Who's Phyllis? Who might you be? A nurse. So we need to go to let's look at our map. The commerce. So it looks like it's across the way from us. Oh we have there we go. Let's go up. And we can enter. Go talk to that one guy. And I see you. There's a man. Um, well, I guess. Good, good. Let me introduce you to the Commerce Guild. The organization that works straight, straight across the entire uh, Free Cities region. This is the Porsche brand. We're pretty busy throughout the year. And, no, looks like a relationship. That'll do. Okay. Let me give you your builder test. This is pretty easy. Make an axe and pickaxe and bring them to me. You'll need to have wooden stones to make these. Oh, we were already actually collecting those. That's perfect. You can gather them on your own or buy them. Uh, total tools in Central Square. After you have the raw materials, you'll need to craft the items on the work table. I saw your boss old one in your yard, so check and see if that still works. Okay, so we have a crafting table in our Okay, so I guess we can go craft some tools. He wants to see what our tools look like. Who's that? Arlo? Yo there, you must be the new builder in town. I'm Arlo, the leader of the civil corps. Only got one rule, no funny business. And everyone can be happy. Easy enough, yeah? around here. There's A and G construction. And over here we've got Porsche government. Department. It's like maybe some kind of park back here. There's all kinds of stuff down Pinky. Oh, that's really cute. Oh, I like Pinky. And I don't think I can actually give you anything right now, Dee. It's a lure. Very common plant that can be made in some of the medicines. Snake berry, berry, sweet berries found in the wild. Would you like a berry? we can just go back to our one place. 
nice and craft. Grab some tools. Very conveniently placed. Right there, out of sight of town. <laughs> um, is this the assembly station? Oh, there we go. It's this right here. Okay. So, looks like here's the difference. Different food and craft, different furniture. Hmm. Okay, so if we look in the tools here, so a simple axe, bronze. Okay, we don't have that kind of stuff, so I guess we'll just do like. So we need, we have enough wood, but we need a little bit more stone. What about for the pickaxe? Let's see, we have enough stone, but we need more wood. Okay. So why don't we just go ahead and go exploring around a little bit. Oh, what's this? We have a chest here. Let's open it up. Okay, we've got worn gloves, dodge attacks, we can roll. <laughs> okay, so that's for fighting. That's cool. There's a little bit of combat in this game. I wonder if there's a and night cycle. Most likely there is because of having a bed. I'm guessing anyway. So, so here we go. Here's some more stone. And it looks like more wood that we can gather over here. Just gonna check around here a little bit more. Never hurts to gather a little bit more of everything. <laughs> Got some more stone here. Could do that. And then that right there. Awesome. What's that? Oh, there's more stuff to gather here. So we got a chest right there, too. Some goals. I'm guessing that's the currency. Let's see. I'm uh, just going to continue. Very cool. Looks like there's another farm over there. Some chickens. See if we have enough to craft everything. I think we might, but I'm not sure. I really love the art style of this game. It's very cute. Almost reminds you a lot of Breath of the Wild. Love being able to see so far away in the background. Let's go up to this work table here. See what we can make. Um, yep, we have enough of that. Confirm. Okay, we got one simple axe. And then let's do the pickaxe. Uh, confirm. Go back to him and let him know who's that. Oh, there's so many people that we have to meet here. Wow. It's so cool. Yeah, it's, you can definitely tell it's getting night time now. But we can probably go in here really quick. And, um, let's go in. 
and go talk to him. Excellent quality, nicely done. You can keep them, I just wanted to see what you could do. Now for the second test, you are to build a stone furnace. This one's a bit tougher, you'll need to use the assembly station in your yard to complete this task. If you remember correctly, your pa, if I remember correctly, uh, your pa kept a very detailed account of things he made. You might want to flip through his workshop handbook and see if you can find a diagram for the stone furnace. Do you have a diagram? Um, just use it on the assembly station in your yard to start construction. Okay. Well, I do remember seeing the assembly station. So I guess well, that's somebody new. Let's go talk to him. Let's see Django, the restaurant owner. Very cool. Stand in front of the assembly station podium to open the workshop handbook and choose a diagram. Okay. Oh wow, there's a lot to this. Okay. Come to the workshop handbook's first page. I'm going to write down all the knowledge that I'm going to gain as I tackle this workshop business. Since I'm probably the only one who's going to read this, hello to me, handsome guy. Ugh. <laughs> this one is the most important. I just said. Okay, so this is pretty much everything that we're doing. Open this handbook and select a diagram. Pretty obvious stuff. Now it wants us to build a stone furnace. That's the first thing that we need to do. Where's can be found anywhere? Craft with a work table. We need ten stone in one stone stool. Any tree will give wood. Let's see what's all this. Oh, different items that you can, I'm guessing, craft. Okay. So, we need a stone stool and ten Definitely all tutorial stuff going on here. Uh, relevant parts equipped, aim with a silhouette, construction, then press it or AX to place it. Okay. Alright. Press can be installed to recover and standing near the construction. Let them press and B or E2. Build the parts and press the E key or X to pick them up. Okay. Oh, it's definitely night time. Um, I guess we can go to sleep really quick first. Oh, hey, we have three wood. Why don't we fix this gap? Oh, nice. Not so bad. Let's see, hold for settings. F to pick up. Let's just go to sleep for now. Sure. <laughs> Day three, month one, year one. This house is still worn out. Oh, yeah, you've already said that. Mm. Two, five, five, five. Interesting, there's a lot of little things that... 
we can do. There are a lot of things to explore, a lot of things to be able to figure out <laughs> how to go about doing it. So it said that we can craft one of them here. Let's see. Um, the stone stool. There we go. Okay, so we need see, abandoned ruins and the quarry. We do have enough for at least that, but then we're gonna need, I think, an additional ten stone. So we're gonna have to go foraging some more for that. Actually, now that we have the pickaxe, maybe we can use this. Oh, let's check our mailbox again. From Town Hall. Hello, new builder. We'd like to remind you that Portia currently has two authorized ruins for you to dive in. An abandoned ruin number one, below the Church of the Light, an hazardous ruin in the collapsed wasteland east of town. For your own safety, all other ruins are currently off limits. Thank you. Interesting. Different kind of ruins that we can go explore. Oh, whoa, look. All the stuff respawns. Um, the next day, the, the next day, that's very handy for sure. Okay, here we go. We can look at our inventory. Um, hmm. Darren, stamina. Definitely need this for sure. Um, can we put this? We can. Okay, nice. So I guess that's our. Like how much we can hold at one moment. So I'm gonna guess I'm gonna put that just like that, just for now, just so that we can know how much we have of that. So perfect. I wonder if we can use this. Awesome. Oh, we got all kinds of stuff. We got some marble, copper, some experience. That's awesome. There we go. Now we're hitting it. When we leveled up, now we're level two. Attack, defense, stamina, health. Okay. I believe we have enough now for the furnace, I think. I see. Okay. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay, so we need more wood as well. Sorry, I apologize for any of you who are getting frustrated with <laughs> um, my gameplay. I'm definitely just trying to learn the game. Hey there, I'm Emily, your next door neighbor. It's so nice to have new people moved to drop by my ranch sometime. Oh, she seemed nice. Let's leave just for now. Let's see what kind of trees can we cut down? Can we cut down any trees? I'm not sure. Let's see. Can we cut down this? Oh, yep. Looks like we can just cut down these little large bushes. Do I need to? There we go. I don't remember how one more time. Did I get all of it? There we go. Got plant fiber too. And then we need that. We can place the wood. special item is that in our inventory yes it is okay 
So I'm just gonna switch those. Mm, yeah, put that there. I also want to put this. Let's switch these out. I'd rather have those over there. Okay. Getting everything in order. <laughs> but now we can go back to town and show him the glorious furnace that we made. Oh, do you see that? There's a chest up there. I'm sure I'll be able to get that at some point. Come in here, go on inside, see what else we need to do with him. Oh, there he is. Great job, you pass. This is your builder's license, congratulations. Okay, now you just need to take this license over to the mayor's office and get your workshop registered, after which you can start taking regular commissions. Ah, oh, so we need to make things for people back and talk with me after you register. Okay, so we need to go register. Um, let's see. Oh, let's leave the building first, I guess, and then we can look at the map to see where the mayor is. Let's see. Let's look at our map. Oh, there's some like abandoned ruins, collapsed wasteland of different ruins and stuff. So, where is the mayor now? Somewhere over here, town hall. So, I guess let me just make sure I'm going the right way. It's gonna be somewhere. I guess we can maybe come up this way. Oh wait, who is that? Is that somebody we need to talk to? Probably. Hmm, maybe not. I don't actually think that's the building that we need to go into. Most likely that was the main. This town is truly wonderful to see young people getting involved in the taxes of our society. I'm here to register my workshop. Very well. What is the name of your workshop? Oh, we have to name our workshop. What should we name it? Let's try that. <laughs> Siri shop. Sure. <laughs> this won't fit my full. Sure, let's register. Just have a nice name. Registration is complete. Thank you. <laughs> Thus, we're going to have a fireside town meeting once in a while. You'll be announced through the mail. Try to make them. If you, you don't want me being the only one there, I will cover town and world events at large. The usual, you know. Very interesting. So, the mayor. Town hall area is Gail. This is his house. Let's leave then. And I think I'm going to go back to my house now. Looks like Isaac is working here, maybe? Hello. Hello, Mouse. I hope you're wiser and more useful than the builder in town. I think he's a fool. Oh, goodness. <laughs> he was playing some kind of game. Not sure what it was, though. Yeah, I think we're gonna go back to the house. And, um, I think... Yeah, we've been definitely a lot. It seems like we've made a little bit of progress um, on this. Sure, let's fix a couple.
explore more of these gaps. <laughs> mm, what about this one? 20 wood. About this one, 10 wood. No, I don't have enough for that. Um, but like I said, we, we've made a lot of progress and I feel like accomplished a lot for this video. <laughs> but I think for now I'm going to end this video here. I hope you found it relaxing and enjoyed playing my time at Portia with me. If you would like to see more gameplay of this, definitely let me know in the comments. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching.